Hola. Hola. Buenos dias. So what are you looking most forward to today? I look forward to touring the university and seeing a different culture of education today. Uh-huh. And probably play some football, soccer. Como se llama? Taylor. Como se llama? What was it? My name is Michelle Randall and I attended the International Peace Studies class in Costa Rica in the summer of 2011. So there were about 18 to 20 of us um, on the trip. Four students from SCC along with our advisor Sandy Crillandre. Every day we spent um, classroom time at Ula Seat, uh, which is a university down there. We had a lot of guest speakers from the government and different organizations around Costa Rica. Okay. The is, why is this important? Because after the Cold War, okay, when we thought in Central America that we were finally going to have peace. Hello, Mike. Hi, Pete. Hey, I was wondering what you're most uh, looking forward to today on our trip to Earth University. Um, I don't know yet. I will figure it out when I get there. I am excited to find out what I'll be excited about. <laughs> that is awesome. We took a field trip to a place called Earth University. We learned uh, sustainable farming in tropical countries. And this is a university where people from uh, the tropical countries, countries around the equator, come and learn how to uh, farm back in their native countries. After we toured Earth University, we actually built a biodigester, which takes the runoff from their cow lot and turns it into methane gas for them to cook with. Okay, now hold them together. You're, gonna, you're going to do like that again so that the air goes through both bags. This is our two pieces of plastic that we put inside of each other. Thank you for cooperating. <laughs> Thank you. Muy bien. And being that, yeah. In La Bolsa. Okay, we're gonna put attach this to the bag, and this is the exit of the gas. The runoff from the cow lot runs into the plastic bubble and then turns into methane gas. It should uh, have saved them six or seven thousand dollars. And probably the thing that impacted me the most wasn't just the money savings, but they lived in the middle of the mountains in nowhere, and so they would have had to haul that that gas. Um, to their home. in inner city of San Jose, Costa Rica, which is the capital. And by the time these students get through ninth grade, they basically have the same education level as our 12th graders. This was um, a technical school. They were learning computer programming, and they were studying out of the same textbook that some of my fellow students on the trip from Pennsylvania had at their two-year college.
did you learn about Volcan Poaz? Volcan Poaz, I believe, is 800 and, or 8,600 feet above in altitude. Uh, it has the second largest crater out of any volcano, and it actually has the largest geyser in the world. So I'm really excited to see it today. Oh, I smell it. it. Smells like eggs. <laughs> oh, eggs. Look at that water. Green water. Okay, yeah, are you uh, volunteering to be our sacrifice? Is that yeah, what I hear? Yeah, just that one. Awesome. So amazing. Breathtaking. I came out of your... Um, and it takes your breath away with the sulfur. Yeah. <laughs> so this was once a military fort and now it's this lovely peace garden. Okay, here we have a lineup of hopeful photographers trying to take a picture of a brilliant blue butterfly that will not light anywhere. <gasps> no, 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 it's beautiful. Look, look. <laughs> the people that I came across and the host family that I lived with seem to be a lot happier than what I see Americans being. It just seems that they are, they live a simpler life and they're a lot happier. Um, it was a fantastic experience. Um, I really wish that everybody could have an experience like that. Um, I think that the, the big picture is the life experiences that a person will gain and the takeaways that, that can impact their own life, their own community, their own family once they get back.